Welcome to my NHL historic rebuild with the 2003-2004 Chicago Blackhawks. The journey starts at the 2003 NHL draft, where we will be selecting four future all-star players in Zach Parisi, Corey Crawford, David Backus, and Dustin Bufflin. These four players will become a core part of our team. Zach Parisi will eventually become our captain, and he will be a big part of our leadership group. Corey Crawford will eventually become our number one goalie until a better goalie comes along. Or if we don't draft a better goalie, he will be our number one goalie. David Backus will also be a core part of our team. He is going to be playing a big role in setting the tone physically. Dustin Bufflin will be a big part of our defense. The first trade that we are going to make in this historic rebuild it is trading Steve Sullivan, Kyle Calder, and Stefan Robita to the Philadelphia Flyers for Yanni Pikkinen, Patrick Sharp, and a six-round pick in 2005, which we would use to select Anton Strawman. Steve Sullivan should get a chance to play for a contending team. He would help their depth scoring, as would Kyle Calder. Stefan Robita had not broken out yet with the Chicago Blackhawks. So a change in scenario and the right system would help him get to his full potential. Yanni Pekin is a defenseman that will be a top four defenseman and is already a top four defenseman for the Flyers. And he would help the Blackhawks out immediately. Patrick Sharp had not yet broken out for the Flyers. So a change in scenario would also help him. Anton Strongman would take some time to develop, but in time, he would become a top four defenseman. The second trade we make is trading Brian Berard, Jocelyn Tebow, and Igor Korolev to the Columbus Blue Jackets for the third round pick in 2005, which we used to select Ben Bishop, and a third round pick in 2006, which we used to select Brad Marchand. Originally, this trade essentially was to clear some players off the roster. Berard is a great player, but with some of the new young talent coming in, he is not going to be playing a top four role anymore. Jocelyn Tebow gets a start or a shot to be the starting goalie in Columbus. Whereas he was basically the third string goalie in Chicago. Ben Bishop could be the future stud goalie that the Blackhawks need and would give them an awesome starting goalie tandem of Ben Bishop and Corey Crawford. But Brad Marchand would be the ultimate two way forward and the ultimate pest to play against. We want our team to be very tough to play against, especially as we go into the playoffs and become a contending team. The third trade we make is Alex, Alex Jamnoff, Mark Bell, and Nathan Dempsey to the LA Kings for Mike Camilleri, a fourth round pick in 2004, which we used to select Brian Callahan and Sean Avery. Alex Jamnoff is a very talented player and would be a better fit on the contending team. Mark Bell would also be a useful fit on a team like the Kings as they are trying to make the playoffs. Nathan Dempsey would be a help to their depth on the blue line. Mike Camilleri was still a prospect at this time, so he himself as a full-time NHL player yet. However, in time, he would prove to be a great goal scorer. Sean Avery is a player that most fans hate, and he irritates players. But 
he does play his role perfectly. Ryan Callahan is a player that gives 100% game in and game out, and that is what this team needs. The fourth and final trade we make in this historic rebuild is Brett McLean and Darren Quinn to the San Jose Sharks for a fifth round pick in 2006. We use this pick to select Andrew McDonald. This trade is just to clear some players off the roster. McLean just had a career year. You have to sell high for him. We're on him. Andrew McDonald isn't going to be a stud defenseman, but he can be a serviceable defenseman if paired with the right players. So we head into the 2004 draft where we'll be selecting a few very good players in Blake Wheeler, David Krejci, Andre Sakara, Ryan Callahan, and Mark Streit. Blake Wheeler is a very, very, very good player. He has finally emerged as an all-star caliber player this year after spending many years as an underrated player. But in this scenario, he will immediately get a chance to play a big role for this team. David Krejci is going to immediately get a chance to be the number one center for this team. Andre Sakara may or may not get a chance to play for this team, but if he doesn't, he can be used in a trade bait. Mark Streit is a very good top four defenseman. That's a good puck moving defenseman and he's good on the power play as well. Ronnie Callahan, I talked about him briefly before. He's a player that gives 100% game in and game out. This is what this team needs. So after all the trades and the three and the drafts picks coming, coming in, they would have added by a trade Yanni Pittenden, Patrick Sharp, Mike Camilleri, and Sean Avery. They would have added by a trade Zach Parisi, Corey Crawford, David Backus, Dustin Bufflin, Blake Wheeler, David Krejci, Andre Sakara, Ryan Callahan, Mark Streit, Andrew McDonald, Ben Bishop, and Brad Marchand. The Blackhawks lost Steve Sullivan, Kyle Calder, Stefan Robita, Ryan Berard, Jocelyn Tebow, Igor Korolev, Al Jamma, Mark Bell, Nathan Dempsey, Brett McLean, and Darren Quinn. This Chicago Blackhawks team will be very good in two or three years. They have many high character guys, two all star goalies, and a few good star players in there as well. There is a drawback, though. Because of this, this team will get so good quickly that they will not be in position to draft either Jonathan Thames or Patrick Kane. So it's possible that they don't become a dynasty. Is this trying to encourage teams to tank so they have a better chance of success? Next. I will be doing a historic rebuild with the 2005-2006 St. Louis Blues.